Now, how do we know our students have learned what we want them to learn? We look at the data. And technology keeps all that data for us on formative assessments so six teachers can come together, compare data, and look at that and then plan their next steps. What are we going to do now to make sure our students really have learned what we want them to learn? So it's transformed even the steps along the way of how we plan education. That therefore then helps our students with whatever that plan is. And that plan may include live teaching, may include technology. It may include, and most often includes, a blend of both. I can give a group of kids the same task, and with the data I can realize who got it and who may need that extra help. So the, the data, it guides my, my lesson plans every Sunday. So I'm able to take my data and blend in what I need for each individual kid at a different level based on the scoring. The other aspect that's very essential for using digital content, online resources, the real-time reporting that you can get. All the digital tools that we use here gives us reports that dramatically change the conversations in the classroom. I could just use an example. Yesterday I was talking with the first grade teachers around something doesn't seem right with the movement and the growth of the students. And when we were sitting there looking at the data together collectively, we're able to see, oh, this is a key area where students are still struggling, so let's pay more attention over the next week or two in this. And then simultaneously, let's print this report out and send this one page or home to the parent and tell the parent for the next week, all I want you to do is focus on these particular skills because that's what I'm gonna focus on in the classroom. We're also able through technology to collect data on students that we can individualize our instruction. We are able to see exactly what each and every student in our, our classrooms, what they know, what they can do, how they've mastered skills and what they still need so that we can close gaps in learning and through that help them be challenged and successful at their personal appropriate level every day. It's twofold, right? For my students, I love their enthusiasm towards it, right? They love it. They go on at home, they complete it at school. It's excellent. For me as a teacher, it's excellent because then I get to collect all this data. So it's like instant data most of the time. I can run reports, I can uh, easily figure out who's doing well and what standard, where do we need to improve. And most of our technology resources comes with resources to help us with small groups. So if I look at my data and I see that during digital time they kind of suffered with a certain standard, I can on that same resource pull it and do it again in my small group. And Mentem helps me implement personalized learning because I'm able to see data per student as well as per class. So instead of taking a whole class to work on one thing that maybe half the students are having an issue with, I can differentiate by assigning those students modules and lessons that will help them build the skills that they're lacking, as well as advance the, student, the students that aren't lacking that skill to the next level, get them started. So nobody feels like they're bored or falling behind because everything is individualized for them.